Hey YouTube, welcome back here with Gabriel from Renegade Blasters and today I've come to you straight out of uh, Shantou in China. Uh, we'll be reviewing the uh, Jinming AK-47J11. Now we were lucky enough to uh, visit the Jinming factory just the other day and uh, met with the uh, Jinming boss. Um, and they explained to us that the product is not actually ready yet, but they, you know, we were lucky enough for them to uh, put one together for us straight off the factory floor. So we've got one here to take a look at, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you what it comes with. Now normally what I would do is uh, open it and take it out of the box, but because they put it together for us, we'll just show you what the box is like and then what is included. So you're pretty standard uh, gymming kit. Uh, you've got your, uh, your battery, your USB charger, and your uh, fire cap. Also includes a couple of hex uh, bolts which uh, go on the stock there and an allen key as well. Uh, so you can screw that on. Uh, come with safety glasses as well and five pack of 7-8mm uh, gel, uh, gel balls. Comes with instructions and as usual uh, it's all in Chinese so you can't really understand it but it does include uh, plenty of pictures. Now we did speak to the Jinming boss and asked him to uh, translate and do some in English. We'll see how that goes. They said they will, but um, you know, we'll see how that goes in the, in the future. So uh, the AK 47J11, you know, very highly anticipated last. And uh, I think you know, Jinming being a very high quality uh, manufacturer, the building and developing very reliable blasters, they. Uh, you know, as soon as the crowd in Australia, as soon as the, you know, the enthusiasts hear about it, everyone gets very excited and can't wait until it's released. Unfortunately, like in this case, um, there are still a few issues and uh, delayed release. So this is a pre-release. It's completely functioning, completely working. The reason that hasn't been released is because the charging handle had some issues and wasn't uh, returning and, and, and you know working correctly. So you know, we got one that's working uh, to show you what it's like. And uh, they're expecting the release in the next few weeks. Um, no date set just yet, but you know, we'll see what, uh, what happens and how that goes. So first of all, it is a you know full nylon AK, uh, you know tip to stock. Uh, the only parts that are ABS are the magazine and the charging handle itself. Now you can pull on it, but it doesn't do anything, doesn't engage anything because it has springs which uh, you know pull it back and forth as you fire. It's a full automatic and semi-automatic, so it has your uh, full auto and, and single shot firing modes. It has a plastic barrel, which um, as they've been doing quite a bit lately is uh, leaving that little bit exposed so you can add a hop up to it nice and easy, uh, which is a very nice touch. Four rails uh, on the front there on the, on the handguard so you can add all the different type of uh, attach uh, tactical attachments you like. Adjustable side, also nylon. Um, extendable stock. Um, now the bucket tube is um, not screwed onto the gearbox, unlike the, the J9, it's just screwed onto this little adapter. So you can uh, swap that out for something else quite easily. It does have a bolt inside which you need to, uh, to unscrew. Now with this model, this is how they gave it to us, there's a little bit of a, little bit of a joint there. Um, we've seen some other ones that they had on display there, uh, which didn't have this, so I'm pretty sure that it's not a common thing. It's just this one, uh, this one's off. One thing that I did notice about this, which is quite nice, it's um, they don't use screws. They're using Allen, you know, Allen key bolts or Allen key screws or however you want to call them, hex bolts, which is which is really cool because I know some of the um, other blasters, you know, they tend to uh, strip the screws as you as you take them out. So you know, really nice to see that they're improving. Not just the, the, the bigger things, but the small things as well. Um, the magazine, high capacity, about 300 gels or so. Um, large filler hole. And as they've been doing quite a bit lately, you can actually remove the, in, uh, the internal so you can access it, remove any uh, old gels or just um, you know give it a clean or a maintenance. So that's a nice touch. Uh, T-piece is nylon as well, which is really cool. Um, got your dual sling points, aluminium sling points, so that will, you know, that'll hold your sling, uh, swivel sling connection quite nicely there. Now it doesn't have a primer, but they've, they've eliminated, eliminated the primer simply because, you know, there really isn't a need for it and it just tends to cause more issues than anything else. 
the enthusiasts that you know go ahead and upgrade their blasters, uh, they know this pretty well. It just it just gets in the way, so it's it's quite easy without without a primer. You just fire a few blanks till it fills uh, the mechanism and starts to feed. Um, yeah, uh, another another point about this one is they're very easy to open and modify. They've they've made it extremely easy to uh, to open up and to just change things over a few bolts here and there, and you can take the whole thing apart. Uh, which I'm sure a lot of the enthusiasts will really like that because everyone wants to upgrade their blaster these days, and it's it's always good to you know have something that unlike the uh, you know the RX AK, uh, the one with the recoil, that one you basically got to take the whole blaster apart just to get to get to the gearbox. So it's it, you know very nicely designed, very well built, uh, so that you can take it apart quite easily and put it back together in uh, in a few minutes. So we also were lucky enough to get a gearbox here. And uh, the gearbox itself uh, is the same as a J9 and a J10 gearbox with some improvements. Um, you know, they're always improving and making things better. One of them is this uh, selector switch, the full auto and semi auto selector switch. It's just, uh, you know, they've updated that to make it a bit more reliable, uh, to make it a bit more consistent, especially in uh, single fire mode. So that's, that's a nice touch. It does have this metal plate on top just to keep the gearbox nice and tight. Um, keep your, uh, your gears in line and just prevent from uh, the gearbox from warping. What tends to happen with, uh, with these gearboxes in you know, a high fire rate is they tend to warp ever so slightly. You, know, ever so slightly. you can see it with a you know, uh, high frame rate camera uh, when, you, when you record it. The gearbox tends to warp so uh, that just keeps everything nice and tight and uh, keeps it a bit more reliable. Trigger has a nice feel. Nice resistance, but that's uh, that's pretty typical with your Jim Ming gearboxes. Uh, it's always they're always well built. They're using um, bushings instead of bearings, uh, so that's that's also really really good. Uh, they can take a lot more punishment without uh, without giving you any trouble. Now there's a few screw holes here, but what you can also see is they've got the hex, the Allen key bolts there as well. So that uh, that's also good because they tend to cause stripping issues uh, and the thread on these bolts is quite uh, quite, a, quite a thick, quite a coarse thread so um, you know you can get in and out without stripping or you know de-threading any of your, uh, your screws or the nylon. Now it comes with a 1.1 spring which a lot of you guys might think you know isn't, isn't that much and you probably want more out of that. The thing is um, you know these blasters now they they put a you know a weaker spring in them simply because they can't look the laws in China basically they're not legal here either you know they're trying to shut it down slowly and um, there's a big issue with the with the laws here so they're trying to keep them legal they're trying to keep them um, you know still on, on you know on the market and to do that they've got to keep them under a certain FPS so that's why they're around the 220 feet per second this is this reaches about 230 consistently. Um, but you're not going to get much more than that these days out of your uh, typical blasters simply because if they do they're going to start having problems with the law and uh, risk being shut down so that's why blasters these days tend to have a lower FPS um, that explains the 1.1 spring but you know very easy to change over very easy to swap out for something a bit stronger uh, blast uh, brass cylinder in there as well so yeah, as you can see quite a few upgrades uh, just to just to make it a little bit more reliable, a little bit more consistent. Um, unlike the the other ones, the the motor actually sits in there. You, you, you don't adjust it or anything; it just sits in there. So unlike the HK or uh, some of the other models, like the J9, where you can adjust it with the bolt, this one sits in its position. So uh, I think that kind of covers it. And uh, and now to the to the fun stuff. Let's uh, test this thing out, and you know. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Sorry, we, we cut out for a second. I'm not sure why the uh, the recording just stopped, but we are back and we are going to test this uh, blaster out with some gels and see what we get out of the primer. Now, like I said, it's got quite a, a large filler hole, so you can you can fill it quite easily just with that with a bottle like this, uh, without any issues. So you know, for those of you who don't have speed loaders and uh, just want to fill it with a coke bottle, that'll help. Uh, although the the mag is ABS, it's still very very high quality and it's very well built. It's got quite a bit of it's got quite
quite you know it's quite solid no rough edges uh, no shiny bits either it's it's kind of the same finish as the nylon there so that's uh, that's also really good to see and again we've got about 300 gels keep it going for a while now full auto is your first your first switch and the second is your uh, your single fire so that's a uh, full auto now Now we're running just a standard 7 volt battery in this, it will take the 11 volt without any issues, um, just swap it out. Let's see what kind of readings we get with the Chrono. So 226, 220, 221. 17. That's probably the lowest I've seen on this so far. We've, we've gotten close to 230, but haven't actually. Yeah, 222. 220. Now these are, you know, these are just your standard gels. Yeah, they're just a clear one. They're a little bit softer. You will get a little bit more uh, in our experience with the with the coloured hardened ones. They just tend to perform a little bit better. They put, they know, make a better seal. Uh, so they will fire a little bit further um, But as you can see yeah, 220 they, they're just capped there. They're really limited um, They want to they want to stay in business. They don't want to be shut down by the by the law here and uh, you know That's why they're capped at that, that kind of uh, feet per second You know you will see most plastic manufacturers will only make them up to that But they're making them so much better now so much better quality that you can upgrade them quite easily and uh, put a stronger spring and just increase uh, you know the performance yourself, so that's uh, that's something that you you know you can all do, and, uh, and I'm sure most of you will. Probably the biggest negative point about this so far, and this is the one that I'm you know that I've tested, just the handle. It's I mean it's firm, it's not really rattling, but I guess just that joint there, just that joint line tends to you know make a bit of sound, and just the mag just wobbles a little bit. I mean look, it's neither here nor there, not a big problem. Um, if I had to point out some negatives with it, that's probably uh, really is a nice blaster. Uh, one more thing, it is a uh, one-to-one -one ratio, it's a full size, it is 95 centimeters fully open and I think uh, 89 centimeters closed, so it's, it's quite a quite a large blaster, you know. It's pretty, uh, it's, it's pretty good and um, or for the you know for the bigger guys out there, this this will fit you perfectly. I'm I'm quite a small fella, so it's a, it's it's quite a big one for me. But um, you know a lot of you guys really like the, the size of it. Uh, there are a few other AKs released at the moment as well. Um, how they compare, I'll let you decide. Uh, I'm just going to give you the, the facts of this one and, uh, and let you guys uh, go from there. But yeah, as you can see, about 220. Uh, you know you will get 230 with that with it. You know. Uh, with some better gels, I'm pretty sure, but you can get to a high 220s. And um, you know, I may as well just finish this mag just to show how it goes. As you can see, it fires very well, sounds good to recoil, you know, with every shot. Single fire, you know, it returns every time. So it doesn't it doesn't stop halfway like some of the other ones will give you two rounds or three rounds. It's uh, very consistent. And you know, it just doesn't miss a beat. It does not miss a beat. It is very nice. It's got quite a bit of weight to it as well. Um, haven't had the chance to weigh it, but I would say, you know, well over a kilo. Um, so there you are guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check out our, our other upcoming videos. Uh, check out our website, renegadeblasters.com.au or uh, follow us on Facebook, Renegade Blasters. Uh, thanks again and uh, hope to see you next time.